third tail of the tape. Rafael Cavallo at 16 and three, Vadim Nemkov at 10 and two. These are two of the outstanding fighters in the Bellator light heavyweight division. Now we see Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, Bellator MMA from Milano, Italia now present the main event Three five-minute rounds in the light heavyweight division. Sanctioned by the Mohegan Tribe Department of Athletic Regulation, Chairman James Gessner, Chief of the Tribe, Lynn Malerba, Supervising at Cage Side, Director Mike Mazzulli. And now on Paramount Network, we introduce first the Blue Corner. At six foot, weighing in 205.6 pounds. His professional record, 10 victories, two losses from Stadihosko, Russia, presenting Vadim Nimko. <laughs> and across the cage, his adversary, out of the red corner. At six foot three, weighing in 205 pounds, even the former Bellator middleweight world champion makes the move up to light heavyweight, bringing 16 professional victories, three defeats. By way of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, he fights out of Coconut Creek, Florida, USA, introducing Rafael, the blessed Cavallo. And the referee in charge of the action, Kerry Hatley. Okay, gentlemen, main event of the evening. Obey yourself like main event fighters. Obey the rules and my commands at all times. Fight fair and hard. Touch gloves if you want to. Here we go. Just for the record, that tail of the tape was my birthday gift to oh, you. Oh, thank you very and, much. And I hope you enjoyed it. I like the fact that we had this little you know, face off. You had you know, Caballo, who speaks Brazilian, and Nemkov with Russian, and Terry. Kerry Hatley speaks Texan. I was going to say, yeah, and he speaks Southern. <laughs> Here we go. Main event, the former middleweight champion, Rafael Cavallo in the red gloves, 10 and 2. That Deem Nemkov oh, he's in hurt. the blue gloves. Mike, Big he's kick right early. Now. Looking for the finish right here, right now. This is exactly where Rafael Cavallo did not want to be on his back with Nemkov on top of him. That First nice little inside leg kick set up, that high kick. Cavallo trying to get himself up off of his back, utilizing the cage, smart movement. Nemkov needs to just hold on, close his hands around him, that way you can bring him back down to the ground. Good shots by Nemkov. Nemkov on a five fight win streak. Beautiful inside trip and takedown by Nemkov. Pulling that leg out. Looking to be very heavy on Rafael Cavallo, who did fight Chidi Njikawani at 190 pounds. This is his first ever fight at 205. His second fight since the move to American Top Team and being trained now by none other than Juan Carnero. Nemkov with a nice position. He was trying to lace those legs together with figure four, a la a Khabib Nurmagomedov. Good recovery by the former middleweight champion. Yeah, he was definitely stung in that first little series, but he's back. Nice straight shots thrown by Caballo. Caballo with the switch stance. Primarily, he will fight from the southpaw which he is in right now. Vadim Nemkov, 3-0 in the Bellator cage. Right now, Caballo, you see him moving towards his left. I would suggest that he would move to his right. That's gonna take some of the power off of that big right hand and big right kick that Vadim Nemkov lives off of. Don't wanna walk into it. Nemkov, 27 years old. Caballo, 33 years old. Of course, Ryan Bader, the title holder at 205 and at heavyweight. Nice takedown by Nemkov. Cavallo almost getting up, and you saw that Nemkov took away that arm, which ended up making it to where Cavallo could not get back to his feet. 
The leader is here in the building. Fedor Emelianenko already. Kirill Sedilnikov with a victory here on Paramount. Now Vadim Nemkov looking for a victory in our main event of the yeah. evening. Careful where that knee goes. Kavar using a lot of energy, getting himself back up. Good job to get himself back up to his feet. Movement on his feet. He needs to start creating angles. Nemkov is so strong. He is. He's strong and fast. He's a fast twitch muscle fiber athlete. Yeah. You heard it again. again. Yep. Cavallo's been in many a battle throughout his professional career. I think Carvalho is making a technical error in the fact that he keeps moving himself towards the power of Nemkov. He would be better off suited to move himself towards his left. And Nemkov firing at will, John. Nemkov right now is doing good. He's utilizing that high head kick. He's keeping him at length when he wants. Another big right hand. Really impressed how Cavallo is working his way through some of these because he's been hurt. But he just keeps on sticking in there. Nemkov, former combat sambo world champion. And he is just so aggressive through the first four and a half minutes. He's just spinning just powerful. A miss. He's got heavy hands, man, when he hits you. He puts a ton of energy into that, and he just blasts right through you. He had those vicious leg kicks against former champion Liam McGeary. Went the distance, earned the split decision against former champion Phil Davis, now facing former champion Rafael Cavallo in a great first round for Vadim Nemkov. Watch this low kick right here. It comes right back with the high kick. That hurts Caballo. You see him give a little bit of a stagger. Gets put down into the ground. Watch this thing land. Now the hand's up there, but it doesn't matter that the glove is protecting the head because the brain still gets rattled. Very nice round for Vadim Nemkov. Round two. And Caballo comes out orthodox. which may mean he will adjust, like you mentioned many times in round number one. Well, he just adjusted he just, right, yeah. right back to Southpaw. <laughs> Not that adjustment. <laughs> Juan Carnero training Rafael Cavallo, of course, Juan Carnero, the trainer of the former champion, Douglas Lima, who was just a couple of weeks away from his rematch against Rory McDonald in the finals of the welterweight World Grand Prix from the Mohegan Sun Arena exclusively on DAZN. Frank Mir, big country goal the night before, and again, Nemkov connects. He's hurt, Mike, you can see. Got pushed back into the cage. You saw that little staggering. That's because his legs are not working in a normal fashion. He felt that shot. The reign of Cavallo at 185 was 945 days. Pretty impressive when you think about that, who he was fighting. Like I said, he had that 15 fight win streak. He was impressive. Now that he's fighting those guys all in that top position and going up in weight, he's gonna have to figure out where am I gonna be strong? Like I said, right now with his movement, 
He's always putting his lead leg to the inside of Nemkov's legs. That's putting him out of position to land that left hand that is so effective for him in most of his fights. And they're slicing the legs as you talked about he's earlier. In, he's in a mount position right here. He's actually moving himself out of that into side control as Caballo tried to put his le leg up. Now he's in half guard. Nemkov, the younger brother of uh, former M1 Global Light Heavyweight Champion Victor Nemkov. And they've actually fought each other before <laughs> in a Russian combat Sambo title fight. They probably fought each other more than that. I think they fought more up. than that. Yeah, yeah exactly. How about every morning over breakfast? Coming into this fight, and you and I talked about it, we knew that regardless of what Happy El Cavallo would look like at 205, that he would have his hands full, like anybody in the world, with this kid, Vadim Nemkov. Well, I did one of Vadim Nemkov's first fight. I actually did an amateur fight of his in Russia. And when I saw him fight, I said, oh, who is this guy? And the only fights that he's had, I did his first loss. And it wasn't that he lost based upon the fight. He ran out of gas. Yeah. He was beating the proverbial snot out of his opponent and gassed himself out and couldn't continue on in the fight and I stopped it based upon he couldn't get himself off of the ground during the break. Full mount for yeah. Vadim Nemkov and that involved a, a long first round didn't it? Ten minute first round yep. in Japan and he learned from it. You can see how he's altered what he's doing in fights. He's not going this crazy all out all the time. He's slowing himself down. He's picking his shots, just like you're seeing now. Nice great mining of the legs, heavy hip pressure down. And let me just sit here and just beat you up with little shots that'll open up into big shots like that elbow right there. Looking for his third straight win over a former Bellator champion. Cloud needs to be very careful about giving his back to Nemkov. Yeah. Nemkov, That's it's a all over! Vadim Nipkov submits Rafael Cavallo. Moves to 4-0 inside the Bellator cage. Second career win by submission for Vadim Nemkov. Also third straight ex-Bellator champion that that man now has a win over. Tonight's fight replay is brought to you by the Marines. Here's how this started. Here comes the kick from Caballo, but look at the right hand. Boom, right along the chin and neck. That puts Caballo back into the cage. And you see Nemkov take him to the ground, mount him, and just start opening up. And it's, it's all about that heavy hip pressure. Hit him with shots until he has to move. Now open up with bigger shots. Let him make the mistake of turning his back. I just said he cannot give his back. Sink in the rear naked choke. And that is a man that comes away with a beautiful second round submission victory. It has been a long time since someone has submitted Rafael Cavallo. How about his professional debut? <laughs> In 2011, Vadim Nemkov does it here tonight. The Marines winning battles for our nation and for all its people. All right, let's find out who will be popping a bottle of La Chamin du Bois. Here is Michael C. Williams with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, the rear naked choke brings on the tap officially. Three minutes, 56 seconds, round number two. The winner by submission, Vadim Nemkov. Vadim Nemkov. Knocks off his third straight former Bellator champion. He may have put himself right in championship contention at 205 pounds.
Don't forget, we are just 13 days away from our back-to-back -back nights of barn burners, Friday, October 25th. Frank Mir, Roy Nelson on Paramount Network. The next night, Saturday, October 26th, the Welterweight World Grand Prix.